Hello and welcome to this Dungeon Fog tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over the duplication function within Dungeon Fog. The duplication function is Control D. Anything you can select within the Dungeon Fog canvas can be duplicated. So, for example, if I select this shape tool, uh, this shape prop, I should say, and I press Control D, I will get an outline of the original shape in exact dimensions, copying all of the values of that shape as well. I can place it on my canvas anywhere I like. I can, whilst having the shape in my cursor, I can hold down Control and Shift to increase the size or to decrease the size of the shape. I'm going to leave it at the same size. I can hold down the Shift key and use my rotating wheel on my mouse to rotate the shape however I like in any direction that I like so let's do that and then I simply left click to place the shape down notice it did not copy the staircase which is inside the shape that's because I need to press Control D again and place it myself using those uh, shortcut keys of Control D and Shift scroll wheel to rotate the staircase so that I can duplicate that. Now that's not particularly fun, especially if I have lots of props to duplicate. So for example, this barrel, again Control D, and now I can duplicate the barrel and place it wherever I like, pressing Control D each time I want to make a duplicate. Holding down the Shift key allows me to rotate that prop, and then I can place another one. Holding down Shift again, I can place another one, Control D and Shift shift and so on until there are water barrels everywhere. Now just because we can duplicate an object within our canvas we can also duplicate objects within rooms. So here is a room that I have created and there is a chest in that room, control D, and I can place the chest either in the room or out of the room itself and place it anywhere I so choose so I can put it there and um, that is as easy as that. Now we can take it another step further where we select the entire room and we press Control D. Notice we have that outline of the entire room and we can place that wherever we like. We can also hold down Control Shift to scale it up or to scale it down as well as holding down the Shift and Scroll Wheel to rotate the room. Now you can't really see the rotation happening at the moment. But let me place that room instead. Now notice what it has done. It has duplicated everything within that room. All of the props, the lights, the brush tools, the open door transparency, everything. With this room selected, I can hold down the shift key and of course rotate it as I need to and it will interact as it does. So there we have duplicated our room. Now all duplicated items that we have added to our map are independent of one another. What that means is I can go into this crate here and change its color dramatically and it won't change any of the other duplicate props or originals that I used to create that. The same with this water barrel for example. I can darken it down and it won't change the others. They're not instances of each other. If I select the brush tool that I have created here for this pathway and press Control D, I can also duplicate the pathway and uh, I can place that, let's say, here. Now, of course, what it is doing is every time I am duplicating, it is simply creating a new stack item and that goes at the top of the stack. So we still have to manage our stack control. So if I go here, you'll see that the decorated stone tiles is right at the top of the stack, which is not where we would want uh, road tiles for example. So we'll have to select that and drag it down to where we want it to sit. Uh, it is now completely independent of the original master. It is not linked to the original master in any way. I can select it, go in and edit it as I normally would, adding or subtracting as need be. Let's just do some basic cleanup here and get rid of that there. And why would the path continue beyond there? Okay, so now we have duplicated our our brushes, we've duplicated our shapes, we've duplicated our rooms and our props. Let's say though, for example, that we want to duplicate this little pool area that I have created. Now this pool area is created out of tree props, cliff props, there's some brushes in there making the water effect. All of this I want to duplicate. It would be tedious if I were to select each one and press Control D and then have to place it and try and rebuild this entire area. So to speed up the process, what you do in your stack is you create a folder. I've called it Pond and that's got all of the various props and things inside of it that I want. And then I go to my canvas, I simply left click once to select the collection of props, 
Control D, and now I can place this giant pool collection wherever I like. Again, I can hold down Control Shift to scale it up or to shrink it down and Shift scroll wheel to rotate it and I can place the entire collection of props right where I want them. Again, they will be placed at the top of my stack. So if I want them to sit where the other pond is sitting, I have to drag it down there. And so now we can see that we have duplicated this absolutely in its entirety. And again, I can go in and, and, and individually edit different layers. So if this pond has dried up, for example, I can do something like that. And that is how you use the duplication tool within Dungeon Fog.